What's up everyone, this is Alien Squares bringing you another video of Batman the Telltale series. This is episode 2 part 1, so I'm gonna start there, uh, naming the titles just like that for you guys can uh, follow along much better than part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 without saying which episode is it. So it's gonna be episode 2 part 1. Let's jump into it as if you've seen uh, the last episode. Uh, if you didn't, I recommend to stop this video right now, go check out my other video, and follow along. But if you did, spoiler alert, uh, Bruce Wayne, basically Batman, found something out that uh, the big, the bell, Al Pachon, the big boy from the city, uh, says something about his family. Supposedly, there's something about the crime that they're connected. And Alfred knows something about that, so we're going to find out today. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, and want to support my channel hitting the like is always a free button so click and punch and punch that uh like button it's gonna help me support uh it's gonna show me that you guys are supporting my channel it's gonna help the channel grow and then share with your friends as well so let's get into it episode two baby let's do this uh the light is a little not the best light in the world but hopefully little by little this during this year i'm gonna have some more light and much better for the webcam and all that good stuff Oh baby, let me make sure my laptop is muted for you don't hear nothing. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Now, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. <laughs> This is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, including you. Ah, It's the Waynes. <coughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Here it is. Here it starts. So let's see what's gonna happen, baby. I'm gonna try my best not to touch the table at all. I don't want crazy noises during the, during the epic time so oof, we'll find out what Alfred knows and hopefully uh, see what goes on as you can know as you can see uh, whatever choices you make it does change the story so now your story is gonna be close to mine so we'll see Wayne Manor. Is this the alley? You don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. 
People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill and Falcone, they were partners. Damn. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But Shit. then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Ah, uh, Alfred. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Damn it. <laughs> This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Is he gonna use his detective work now? <clears throat> yep, search the edit to remember the past. Alright. Alright, frames are not working. What's going on? Hold on a moment. Alright, hopefully you guys can see me a little better. Ah, uh, I hope, uh... The recording is working marvelously. If my audio sounds a little off, I do apologize. I will fix it in the next video, but let's keep going. I want him standing here right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibility is a frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Oh, shit. So he was stabbed in prison, huh? Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path.
anything around here let's check like i said if, if the audio looks a little off i do apologize uh, but hopefully now it's working better if not probably in the next video but i hope you guys still enjoying the gameplay Saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Nothing. Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? That's the only way you can find peace, bro. That's the only way you can find peace. The eye is serious. Falcone, bro. Are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Oh. oh, shit. Broken memories. That's the trophy we just earned right now. I know. I got to change my camera to the bottom or something, but <laughs> that's the trophy we just earned right now. Ah, oh, so Falcone knows why. Bruce's parents died. He probably he's the one who sent the sent the assassination. Planned the assassination, I mean. I don't know. So we'll see. You see PD. 8.56 a.m. baby. The hell was that? Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm always here for you. But this could land us both in hot water. Wasn't that that guy from the park? I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. Well, Last you owe me for the bullshit. shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. 
Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's been a little busy. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Well, tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Balcone away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Oh, well, eye for an eye, right? bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. <laughs> her face. <laughs> That's her face. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. <laughs> He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah. It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Say what you got to say. We'll be out here. The audio went off for a bit. That was weird. All right, episode two, baby. Oh, this is the moment. Let's find out. Damn, he's that beat up. Can't handle it. Mm -hmm. Children of Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You gotta keep it calm, though. You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth into you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. You wish. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. It's a damn shame you ask me. Watch it, Falcone. I still see some unbroken bones. <laughs> Tough guy, eh? I bet you came to kick some answers out of me, huh? Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? <sighs> it's gonna make me... <laughs> I don't want to give it to him. <sighs> Fuck. Hurt him. I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course, you'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? What kind of son did he make? I'm no murderer, Falcone. Unlike you. <sighs> Yeah, that's why you were kept in the dark. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. 
Uf. If you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still, made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Oh shit! They're waiting for you in hell. What the, the hell? Had to die. What the heck is wrong in her mouth? You see that? Hands in the air. Stand down. Get a doctor. Secure this floor. No one gets in or out. Go. Go. Our answers. Fuck. Our answers. He was about to give us the answers. Oh my god, are you serious? Why she did that? There was something in her mouth. You seen it? We are in deep, deep shit. shit. <laughs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close. We were this close. There's something wrong with her mouth. I don't I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. Ah, it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do Look anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Look at her. For the love of Jeebus, Tell me look if at she her. says anything. I have to know why she did this. Uh. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Oh, that's pretty sick. So, okay, we can move now. Her skin, her skin, yes. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Uh, in the neck? Fresh injection site. Mm, that doesn't look like blood. It's a poison? Maybe? Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Oh, everything is such a blur. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. 
I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm guiding me like a parent with a child. Is it Scarecrow? Voice, it was saying something about revolution. Couple the penguin? said something similar. That's fucking penguin. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! I don't have time for your shit. I don't got time for your shit what, right now. What are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. My lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. I don't got time for your shit. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. I don't got time for her shit because I can't. She's, she's, she's trouble a little bit. She's a little trouble. She kind of screwed us over last time, so. She uses all words and then it got mixed up and it got worse. Nah, 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 nah. you know what, Vicky? Get the fuck out of my face. I don't got time for your kit, man. I don't got time for your kit. Man, that car is amazing. I love it. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Crap. Let's see what we got. I need that computer chair. It's so bad. ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. 
Well... What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Okay, so we're moving. Okay. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Okay. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both but I meant to get it. seems stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but dragging others to fight them for you. Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Select a drone to search Oswald's cell phone signal. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to leave it right here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this first episode, uh, well, the second episode of part one, uh, please let me know by hitting the like, supporting my channel, and it shows me that you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, any tips or tricks or want to say hi, let me know in the comments below without spoiling uh, the game for me, please. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification for you don't miss another episode of Batman or any other uh, videos that I'll be posting this week on my channel. All right. I'll see you on the next one. This is Alien Squares signing out. Peace.